tonight's dinner is the halal guys. Okay, everybody. So we are at the Halal Guys, like the Halal Guys. This is the one on the Upper West Side, and we're excited because now they have indoor dining. Oh, I mean, yeah. Josie something. So we have our Halal. This one is mine. Hot I sauce. have jalapeno, and I have a little hot sauce on my chest. And this is Joe's. Delicious. He's got olives. So we're just gonna sit here and eat. I got a Diet Coke and a, a Coke Zero. Joe likes the Coke Zeros. So we're gonna have to like switch this over this way. Joe's gonna have to get in here. There we go. I know he does. He really, he really does. It's like a little ridiculous. It's comfort food. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. So we got, Joe, you can get a little closer so you can, there. Okay, he's so excited, guys. He's so excited. I'm actually kidding. He's so hungry. He's so hungry. I have been doing like work today, a lot of digital stuff, some design work. I worked so hard today. I deserve this. I can't with him. So, as everybody knows, we do keto low carb. So what I do is it's on. It's You're ridiculous. Mm -hmm. He doesn't even mix it. He just goes in. So we do it on a bed of lettuce and tomatoes, no rice. Um, I will tell you if you don't have to, if you don't have to do it that way, the rice is really good. It is. We always loved it before. And then I usually will add like jalapenos or something else. Joe loves to add olives. We do the white sauce, which is like a garlic sauce. And, the and then, I like the beef. and I do like the beef. It's the euro is beef. It's not lamb here. I think they did introduce a lamb though. I don't, know. I don't remember. It's not chicken. But the chicken is good too. Sometimes you can get a combo, and that's good. Normally, it comes with um, four little triangles of pita bread, but we can't do the pita bread, so pita bread's not here. But I'll tell you, the pita bread is really, really good. So if you want to get the pita bread, I gotta get some of these jalapenos off this because God knows I can't have that many. That's a mess. If I was to have that many jalapenos at one time, ooh, I'll be burning up. Just put a little kick in it though, but the red sauce is too much. The, the red, red sauce is super hot. What you have to understand is super hot. Joe is a delicate flower. Uh, one dot of red sauce. Would render my in a, I couldn't eat it. Not edible. One dot. Now you can buy pack of big packets of their white sauce. I don't see my packet. You don't need one. <laughs> Remember one time I made it myself and I love the white sauce. I made it myself and Anne stood back and they made white sauce soup on top and Anne goes. Joe. While they were doing it, I'm like, that's a lot of white sauce. He goes, no, much. I want it. I love it. I love it. She goes, Joe, that's too much. I got to <laughs> tell you, it was soup. It was too much. He, he couldn't finish it. I said, you got to learn how to governor yourself. He has a problem. No governor. You can't govern yourself. No governor. So I have to like make sure I order his food and dictate how much gets put on something because he has a problem. Mm. Are you good? It makes the day better. It's cooked fresh. They're always cooking the chicken yeah. and everything. It's fresh. Mm -hmm. Back there. Now, when it warms up, we're going to one over on six. It's a little too cold for that. Mm -hmm. 
It is. Now this one actually does have like a little thing out there that you can eat outside. I wonder if they're going to keep it up all spring. There's no benches there right now. Yeah, they don't have any tables. But since they did open the indoor, I was very excited. I was excited. Because I can eat right now. Each one is like nine something, ten dollars. Yeah, and then the sodas. Mm -hmm. A platter, a regular size platter is like ten bucks. And they charge extra for the olives, that's fine. Mm-hmm. That's what I mean. With that, it's like ten dollars. It's okay. I love the olives. Olives are good. It is a little spicy though. Because mm. I put the jalapeno and just a little bit of You're mess it up. You don't want it to burn your face. That's a five alarm fire right there. <laughs> When you start to sweat, it's a problem. They also do have barbecue sauce. Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, you can't have that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can't have it. My ears perked up because I love barbecue sauce. But I forget. It's got sugar in it. Mm -hmm. No barbecue sauce for you. No, for you. And he tried to sell me fries. Did he? To the upside? Always. I mean, come on, their fries are good. Mm -hmm. Their fries aren't as good as Nathan's fries. It's it's the fork, the Nathan's red fork. That's the key. It's a little fork. Yeah, but at Nathan's, we would get chili fries. Mm. With cheese. Stop. Stop it. Oh, are you getting forlorn? Are you getting sad? I was driving home today, and Angie tells me she's eating my peanut butter. You can't eat my peanut butter. It was like half a tablespoon. You can't do that. Stop eating my food. He is not that hungry. Oh. Look how much I still have. Mm -hmm. Joe's is much emptier. It's, it's, mine was half full when she gave it to me. Yeah. We got a taste of spring out there right now. It's so beautiful. Yeah. It's sunny. Oh, the temperature is like 65, 60. Uh-oh, like 60. I added five. He does that all the time. They're beautiful. It feels so good. They're not cold. Yeah. You're saying the weekend's going to be kind of nice, too. Yeah. I think they've had enough of the jalapeno. Yeah, I told you. You take that comfort food too much heat, no good for you. It's not comfortable anymore. Sometimes you want it. Me sweating profusely because I love the heat, it's not fun. It's not a contest. So tomorrow Joe has a trip that he has to go on for work. I am going to Pittsburgh. But what you have to understand, every time he travels, he has to like think about what is he going to eat. That's his big thing. Steak. I'm going to eat steak. And coffee. And green beans. Why not just get a salad? That's a good idea. With, with some people, that's a, a curse word. Salad with For cheese. some people, that's a curse word. A wedge salad with blue cheese and a large baseball steak. 
What if they don't have a white a wet salad? What kind of establishment is that? You can't have a wet salad if you sell steak. Mm. We really like wedge salads though. You've always liked wedge salads. I don't know what it is about that salad. I just feel like I get so much volume. I think he likes the idea that it's like a half a head of lettuce. <laughs> <laughs> and, it's, and it's iceberg lettuce at that. And they put a lot of blue cheese and then they put the bacon bit. Oh, stop, stop. You're getting but hungry. it has to be real bacon. Like bacon chunks. Right. Not, not the bagels. So tell me, what's the? why do you like this so much? It's my new McDonald's. It's my takeaway McDonald's. I'm compliant. This is not like McDonald's at all. This is my fast food. But if you think about it, it could be like a hamburger. Like we a tried any McDonald's the keto way. It just seems like they make so much money on me. Because <laughs> I don't get the bun. I don't get <laughs> the do. fries. I get a patty and cheese. You get some patty and cheese. They put it on a platter and I eat it, it with a fork. It looks lonely. And that's like, that doesn't look like four seventy five. Does it? I'm like, just because the patty. I didn't get a, I didn't get a discount for this. Because your patty is this thin. When your slice of cheese almost so seems thicker than the patty. This is not a discount. This is real. This is real. It's good stuff. It's quantity. It's delicious. And FYI, I always feel like when I order it this way. I feel like they almost take pity on us and then they throw some more meat on it. Probably because when we eat it here, we're so hungry. We think there's a lot of meat on it. <laughs> or maybe they just look at Joe and go, oh, he's starving. I'm sitting in the corner saving the table. He does sit in the corner like a child waiting. So you leave tomorrow and then you'll be back Wednesday and Thursday. Thursday night. He's gonna be hungry. I don't know what he's gonna do about his peanut butter problem. That's a real problem. I may have to pack peanut butter. <laughs> ah. I got my underwear, my socks, my peanut butter <laughs> with a spoon. Joel will be in a meeting. Everybody else is having their coffee and snacks. Joe pulls out a jar of peanut butter. I'm kind of crappy before my peanut butter. Don't talk to me. You know, that is something that's just come on in the last... Since doing keto. Is that what it is? Because I would never eat peanut butter before. Now it's like... Make sure I got a jar of peanut butter. Can you stop that? A jar of peanut butter. I literally can't. It's kind of funny. We went grocery shopping. I'm sick and tired of paying six dollars for coffee in Manhattan. So I have to buy four back there for Stella for ten dollars, which is a great price. Our, our cabin's chock full of coffee. I think we have six. We bought four, plus two, we have right? I think we have five, because we, we pulled one out. I want that same quantity of the cabinet for peanut butter. We don't need that much peanut butter, people. Oh. People keep calling me. She's so popular. Apparently. Why are you so popular? Because, you know, I'm the handler. She's a good handler. I handle stuff. You got a problem, I'll handle it. That's exactly your job title. What do you do? Handler. 
I handle things. So I've been getting a lot of recommendations on different places to try. Mm. Yeah. So we'll definitely. Mm. Some of them are. One of them was a place in Queens for hamburgers. How is that a problem? How is it a problem any different than we go to a sub shop, Joe? You don't eat the bun. I'm scared. Oh, God. We'll it try. looked good. We'll try. Mm -mm. No, the hamburger was bigger than the bun, and it was like thick in the video. She sent me a TikTok on it. So. I'm ready for my second one. Stop it. Delicious. It was so good. I think he ate, like, like look, he ate every bit. The, the, you can see the shininess of the bottom of the plate. Put that back on the shelf. It's clean. Exactly. Oh, I just burped. Okay. Did you just burp? I did. It's the Diet Coke. Oh, I love Diet Coke. Anyway, so we'll try it. It's in Queens, huh? That's what she said. Okay, we'll try it. We'll try it. We'll give it a good up. Is it entirely recommended? I don't know. We'll have to see. I don't know. But it's supposed to be like a good burger place, so we'll have to check it out. I'm all okay. about that. Try it. We're, we're looking for new places. So if you guys have any kind of recommendations for us that you've heard of or would you like to have us try, one of the things on our list still is Cats and Deli. I've been in there twice. We'll try it again. Maybe three times a charm. The joke is a problem. It was like, it's from the war era. <laughs> the, 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 weird, the weird thing about cats it freaked me out the first time. You walk in, this lady behind the register gives you a card. I'm like, it's your ticket. What's a card for? The we were card, really confused. This is like a long, long time ago. The card, it represents $45. If you lose your card, she will not let you out of the store without paying $45. You lost the <laughs> it's card. It's true. And I'm like, if I lose this card, I win $45? Because that means I ate everything on the menu. That's a lot of money. I gotta guard that card. Because mm -hmm. what you do is when you get the card, you have to go give it to them at the counter and they'll mark down what you ordered. And then you're on the way out, you, and you settle your card at the, at the door with the cashier, and she just punches in a number, and that's how much you owe. And dinner. then you are released. So if you lose your card, you misplace your card, they assume you had everything on the menu, $45. Man. A lot of food. I don't know. We'll go and we'll we'll vet it out for you to show you how it's done. Because it's like something I have never, it's ever... It's from the World War II era. That's how it was done. It's an old restaurant. They haven't changed have, the way they do I it. I literally have never seen any anything like that before. Never experienced anything like that before, so we'll have to check it out. I we'll mean, definitely get the card in there, because that's a big thing. <laughs> so, so confused. Well, I don't think you even understand. No idea. What was this card thing? The lady was, it seemed like Big Bird at the <laughs> counter. Like, she had really wrestled down for the money. He was going to throw it on the floor, like throw it away. He like didn't know he needed it, and then he had to go dig for it. That's what happened. I got, I, yeah, I was, I was, I guess I was confused. We'll make sure, but stay tuned. You're handling the car. I'm done too. Although I do have some lettuce and stuff left. You just, well, you, you licked your. Stuff. You got hot stuff in there. I can burn my tongue and I'm not having He licked his clean. But anyway, hello guys. Always a good thing to stop by. They're in a lot of new places now. Like I know they even have one in Las Vegas. So, which is it's not like this. Not which like is this. crazy. It's New York. It's the best. I know you gotta get it in New York. And if you can, if it's not frozen outside, I mean I've gotten it when it's frozen. You can go down on freeze baby. like 53rd freeze and go get it. It's, it's chilly though, and it's, it's like chilly. that. Cheery. It's okay, baby. You'll make it. No more. But problem. anyway, guys. Thanks for watching. See we'll see you next time. Bye. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Click on the bell thingy so you don't miss anything new. See you around.